It is, of course, ironic and shocking that the person who blew the whistle about the deceit or apparent deceit of Nadine Dorries, condemned as she was by a production company that had made a show with her by Channel 4 and by the DCMS committee itself that said that had she remained a minister, she would be herself referred to the Privileges Committee. It's extraordinary that John Nicholson, in questioning a how and why a person under such a cloud should be promoted to the House of Lords and getting a rebuff from the Speaker, Lindsay Hoyle, should himself now, at the connivance of people like David Davis, face uh, being taken to the Privileges Committee himself. It is ironic and shocking that on a technicality, rather than on a principle of honour, uh, Parliament will be making a decision about one of its members and not about another. It is ironic and shocking. If I were John Nicholson, I'm afraid I would be handing in my resignation almost immediately um, because I wouldn't want to sit in such a scurrilous and sordid institution. I thought, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I didn't pursue any sort of political office in the end was because I could not possibly have found myself um, working under Mrs May. I thought her behaviour as Home Office Minister fell beneath contempt and below the standards of um, public life that I consider acceptable. I think since she has retired as Prime Minister, she's actually acquitted herself rather well. And certainly I think people are in a position to be rehabilitated and to change. I, 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 I believe very much that people can improve. However, however, I think this squalid scene today is going to take some beating. Some beating indeed. And at the heart of it is the behaviour of Nadine Doris, who used parliamentary, parliamentary privilege to besmirch Channel 4, and a woman who, whose flat she lived in, um, simply for her own gain. It's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. And did she lie? Well, these three bodies think that she did. Who am I to question a big production company, Channel 4, and the DCMS committee itself? Who am I to question them? Uh, but why is she not referred to the Privileges Committee? And why is Lindsay Hoyle referred simply for making public a pronouncement by the Speaker. Surely it's in the name. The Speaker speaks. He doesn't issue secret missives. We aren't in that society. If we want to go into that society, then presumably we should go and live in Russia, where secret missives are the order of the day. So Lindsay Hoyle needs to recognise which century he's living in and I'm afraid needs to wake up and smell the roses. And this sort of witch hunt, which uh, is being described in the Scottish newspapers as an attack on the SNP, which I think it isn't. It's a defence of the Speaker, who has made one error too many. I think the Speaker was wrong the other day when he, when, when he failed to act on the fracking fracker. And I think he's wrong today. But that's my opinion. I'm not a member of Parliament. And I won't be.